The 80 over 20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, states that roughly 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. This rule can be applied to various aspects of life, including wealth distribution. In today's society, the wealthiest 1% of the population often attracts criticism and is referred to as evil. However, is this criticism fair, or is the 1% a product of the 80 over 20 rule? In this video, we will explore the truth about the evil 1% of society and the role the 80 over 20 rule plays in wealth accumulation. We will also discuss the impact of the 1% on society and whether the negative impact outweighs the positive contributions they make. Who are the 1% of society? Before we delve into why the 1% is often considered evil, let's first define who they are. The 1% refers to the top 1% of income earners in a particular society. In the United States, for example, the top 1% of income earners make more than $421,926 per year. However, being in the 1% is not just about income. Wealth, or the accumulation of assets over time, is also a significant factor in determining whether someone is part of the 1%. So, who makes up the 1%? The 1% consists of individuals who have accumulated a significant amount of wealth and or income. This includes business owners, entrepreneurs, executives, celebrity, and high-level professionals. According to a study by the Economic Policy Institute, the top 1% in the United States owns 40% of the country's wealth. Why is the 1% often considered evil? The 1% is often referred to as evil because of the perception of greed and selfishness that comes with their wealth accumulation. Many believe that the 1% are solely focused on increasing their wealth at the expense of others. Some examples of unethical behavior by the 1% include tax evasion, corruption, and monopolization of industries. Media portrayal of the 1% also plays a significant role in their negative perception. In movies and television shows, the 1% is often depicted as greedy, corrupt, and immoral. This portrayal reinforces the idea that the 1% is not only wealthy but also inherently bad. The 80 over 20 rule and the 1%. Now that we have a better understanding of who the 1% are and why they are often considered evil, let's explore the role the 80 over 20 rule plays in their wealth accumulation. The 80 over 20 rule states that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. In the context of wealth distribution, this means that 20% of the population holds 80% of the wealth. In many societies, the 1% represents the top 20% of income earners. This means that the 1% holds a significant portion of the wealth in society, and their wealth accumulation is a product of the 80 over 20 rule. However, it's important to note that not all members of the 1% are evil. While some may have acquired their wealth through unethical means, others have made significant contributions to society. The Impact of the 1% on Society The 1% has a significant impact on society both positive and negative. Let's explore both aspects in more detail. Positive Contributions of the 1% One significant contribution of the 1% is job creation. Many of the wealthiest individuals are business owners or entrepreneurs who have created jobs for millions of people worldwide. For example, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos created over 1.2 million jobs worldwide through his company. Additionally, the 1% also contributes to philanthropic causes. Many of the wealthiest individuals in society donate significant amounts of money to charitable organizations, such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Warren Buffett Foundation. These donations help fund research and programs that benefit society as a whole. The 1% also invests in innovation and research. Many of the most significant scientific and technological breakthroughs have been the result of funding and support from wealthy individuals. For example, Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has invested in space exploration, which has led to advancements in rocket technology and the potential for interplanetary travel. The Negative Impact of the 1% Despite their positive contributions, the 1% also hurts society. One significant issue is wealth inequality. As mentioned earlier, the top 1% owns a significant portion of the wealth in society. This leads to a widening wealth gap between the rich and the poor, which can have negative social and economic consequences. Another issue is the concentration of power in the hands of a few individuals. The 1% often holds significant power and influence over political and economic systems, which can lead to a concentration of power that can be detrimental to society as a whole. This concentration of power can lead to corruption and the manipulation of the system for personal gain. Finally, the 1% also contributes to environmental degradation. Many of the wealthiest individuals own large corporations that contribute to environmental destruction through pollution and overconsumption. In conclusion, 
The 1% of society is often considered evil because of the perception of greed and selfishness that comes with their wealth accumulation. However, it's important to understand that not all members of the 1% are evil, and that their wealth accumulation is a product of the 80 over 20 rule. The 1% has a significant impact on society, both positive and negative. While they have made significant contributions to job creation, philanthropy, and innovation, they also contribute to wealth inequality, the concentration of power, and environmental degradation. As society continues to grapple with the issues surrounding the 1%, it's essential to focus on finding solutions that address both the positive and negative impacts of the 1%. This may include policies that promote a more equitable distribution of wealth, stronger regulations on corporate power, and increased support for philanthropic causes that benefit society as a whole. By working together, we can ensure that the 1% uses their wealth and power for the greater good.